Open your books to lesson 2A. Okay, let's all go to lesson 2A. All right, very good. I see you have opened your books. Okay, now this lesson is called, what's it called? Yes? It's called what? Okay, join the fun. All right. And here we're going to learn about, you know, participating in different kinds of events. All right. Let me just have a look over here. Now, look at your book, okay, right here. You have a school fet. Does anybody know what a fet means? What is a fet? Does anybody know? What is a fet? What do you think a fet is? Hmm? Yes? What do you think? Is a fet. Hmm? You like it? Okay. But what does the word fet mean? Do you understand what the word fet? What is a fet? Anybody know? Well, I will explain to you. Okay. A, a fet, a school fet, is an usually it's an activity. Okay. That is organized in order to let's say raise money for a special purpose. You know, uh, they might people might bring food from home, okay, and you might sell this food to raise money, you know, for a special purpose, maybe to give to the poor, to help the poor, the needy, something like that, okay? Okay, have a look at this uh, text over here. What kind of text is this? What do you think? What kind of text is it? What is it doing in the text? Read it quickly. What do you think this text is? Hmm? Who can tell me what kind of text is it? School Fed, Saturday, 25th of April. What kind of text is it? What is it saying in the text? Yes. All right, so it's asking the people to come. So it's an invitation. It's what we call an invitation, okay? They're inviting people to come to the school Fed, okay? All right, very good. Now, what I want you to do is. I want you to read, okay, listen and read, and tell me where is the school fed taking place? Where is it taking place? Let's just listen quickly where this school fed is taking place, okay? So we're going to listen. Module 2, events. 2A, join the fun. 1, read. A, listen and read. Where's the event taking place? So, where is the event taking place? School Fed, Saturday the 25th of April. Do you like having fun? Do you enjoy playing sports and games in the sun? Do you love homemade cakes and biscuits? Do you like taking part in competitions? Yes? 
we'll get down to Riverside School on Hayworth Road. See you there at 10 a.m. Bring your friends and family. Let me just pause it there. Okay, where is the school fete taking place? Where is it organized? Where is it going to be held? Where? Where does it say? In which school? Where does it say? Huh? Where is the school fed going to take place? Which school? What's the name of the school? Well, what's the name of the school? Yes? Nine. Which one? Nine. Nine? Nine? Yeah. No? Okay, maybe... Yeah? Riverside. Riverside. Repeat it. Riverside. Riverside. Right, look, it's taking place. It says here, yes, get down to Riverside School. Okay, so the school fete is taking place at Riverside School. Okay, now let's listen and read the rest of the text. Okay, let's listen together. Hi, George. Thanks for the invitation to your school fete. They're always great fun. My mum usually makes some biscuits for me to bring. But we've got a new recipe for a chocolate cake, so I can bring that this year. My dad can't take me on Saturday. Can your dad take me in his car? And hey, don't forget the barbecue at my house tomorrow night. Jim. Okay. So, let me ask you, what is this here? What kind of text is it? Yes? Conversation. Okay, it's a conversation, okay. And this is where is it found? Where would we find this text? Huh? Is it in a magazine? Is this a magazine? No? What is this? This is from where? Yes, Ahmed? Okay, exactly. This is from the internet. This is like a messenger, okay? So this is probably like an email, okay? Who has written this? Who wrote this email? Saud? Yes. Yeah, who wrote this text? Who's the, uh, the writer of this text? Is it George or Jim? Who wrote this? Yes, Mohammed? Jim. Jim wrote this, okay? Now, let me ask you. Um, what, is, uh, what does Jim ask uh, George? What does he ask him? He asks him something. What does Jim ask George? Who can tell me? Huh? Look over here. Look at me over here. What does Jim ask George? Huh? What do you think? What does he ask him? Take me on Saturday. Okay, so he's asking him if, if his father can take him to the school. Right, okay, very good. Okay, now let's continue listening to the next one, all right? Okay, read along. Okay, listen and read along. George, Riverside School Fair, hooray! But it's a bit early for invitations. It's only March now. I don't really enjoy playing sports outside. But as you know, I love competitions and homemade food. So see you there. What can I bring with me? Any ideas? Please tell me. Kareem. Okay. So, who has written this email? Yes? Kareem. Kareem, okay. Now, tell me, Saul, what does Kareem ask George? He asks him something. What does he ask him? What does Kareem ask George? What do you think? Okay, Ahmed, what does he ask him? Okay, he's asking, uh, he's asking George for ideas, eh? for, because he doesn't know what to bring with him. What should I bring? Some food? Should I bring some gifts? Something, okay? So that's what Kareem is asking. Very good, okay? Um, let me ask you another question. What does Kareem think about the uh, invitation? What does Kareem think about the invitation? What does he think about the invitation? What do you think he thinks? Huh? What does Kareem think about the invitation? 
What do you say, Khaled? Okay. Louder? Louder? I can hear you. Conversation. Okay, it's a conversation between uh, Kareem. But what does Kareem ask? Okay. What does he say? Sorry, yes? About invitations. I guess so. That it's a bit early, eh? Yeah? That it's too early. He says uh, it's a bit early for invitations. It's only March now. Okay. So he thinks it's a bit early for uh, the invitations. Okay. Okay, now, I am going to give you, okay, five minutes to do this exercise. I want you to answer these questions, and I want you to do it in pairs. You can work together, together, okay? You can do it together, you can work together, the two of you together, together, you two together, you two together, and you three work together, okay? I want you to find the answers for these questions. Okay? And tell me where the answer is, okay? Show me in the text. I want you to show me in the text where the answer is. All right? So you have five minutes to do this exercise, to find these answers, okay? Yeah. And underline... Underline where the answer is in the text. Underline the answer in the text, okay? All right, let's go over these questions together. I know some of you are not finished. Don't worry. We're going to do them together and discuss these questions. Okay, look at number one. When is the school fed? When is it? Hmm? Who knows? Okay, Amar, what do you think? <coughs> okay, it's at uh, 10, you said? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? But when is it? The date. Which day? Yes? Saturday, 25 April. Okay, very good. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oops. Exactly. It's on Saturday, 25th of April, like you said, and like you said, at 10 a.m., okay? And you can see it over here. All right? It says, school fed, Saturday, 25th of April at 10 a.m. Very good. So both of you were correct, okay? Now, where is Riverside School? Where is uh, Riverside School? What do you think, uh, Mohammed? I want food. Hmm? Okay, very good. Do you agree with uh, Mohammed? He says Hayworth Road. Do you agree? Is that, where, uh, is that where Riverside School is? You agree? Okay. Louder, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. It's on Hayworth Road right here. Very good. Yes, well, get down to Riverside School on Hayworth Road. Okay, number three. What does Jim usually bring to the FET? What does he usually bring to the FET? Okay, what do you think is the answer, Ahmed? Uh, some, some biscuits. Okay, he usually brings biscuits. Do you agree with uh, Ahmed? Huh? All of you agree with Ahmed that Jim usually brings uh, some biscuits? You're sure? Yes, very good. And look what it says. My mom usually makes some biscuits for me to bring. Okay, so, yes, the answer is, very good, biscuits. What's tomorrow night? <coughs> what is happening tomorrow night? Case. Case? Okay, yes, what is happening though? It's Saturday, yes, but what's happening? There's an event going to happen at Jim's house. What's, gonna, what's he going to do? What does he say? 
He's going to have a what? What is he going to have? What do you think? Joker's cake. Mm, no, take me on Saturday and okay, don't forget what? What do you think? The barbecue. The barbecue, you said. Do you agree? What do you think, Amar? Okay, what do you think is the answer, Ahmed? Okay, yes, but what's tomorrow night? Okay, a barbecue at Jim's house. Okay. What month is it now? What month is it? Mahmoud, what do you think? It's March. Do you agree with Mahmoud? Is he correct? What do you say, Ahmed? You think it's April? Okay. What do you think, Mazin? Is it March or April? It's April. Mohammed, what do you think? March. Okay, why March? Uh, why do you think April? Why do you think it's March? Why is the answer March? Or why March? Why is the answer? Yes. Because uh, it's only March. It's only March. And why do you think it's April then? The effect will take place in April, but now it's March, okay? It says it here, it's only March now. So now it's the month of March, okay? But the school fete is going to be in, in April. So this was a bit uh, tricky, this one, huh? Okay. Who doesn't like doing sports outside? Who doesn't like sports? Jim, Kareem, George. Who doesn't like sports, doing sports outside? Hmm? What do you think, Saud? Kareem. Kareem. Why do you think it's Kareem? What does it say in the text? <coughs> mm -hmm. You agree with uh, Saud? You agree? Yes. Very good. The answer is Kareem. Okay. Here we go. It says, I don't really enjoy playing sports outside. Okay. And the last question. Who wants to bring food to the school fete? Who wants to bring food? George, uh, Jim, uh, Kareem. Who wants to bring food? What do you think? Okay, yes, Mazen. What do you think? Kareem. You think it's Kareem. What do you think, uh, Mohammed? Uh, Jim and Kareem. Jim and Kareem, you think? Saud? Jim. Jim. What do you think, Khaled? Jim. Why Jim? Why Jim? Where does it say? Chocolate cake. Huh? Chocolate cake. He says he wants to bring chocolate cake. What do you think, Mohammed? Make some biscuits for me. Uh huh. Okay, so here the answer is both of them. Jim and Kareem want to bring food, okay? It says here, look what it says. We've got a new recipe for chocolate cake, so I can bring that. And also, I love competitions and homemade food, so see you there. What can I bring with me? So they both want to bring something with them, okay? Now, do you have uh, school fets uh, here? Do you have uh, these kind of events at your school? Yeah? Do you bring homemade food? Yes. Huh? And what do you do? At, what kind of events take place at the school fet? Do you bring food? What else do you do? Do you play games? Huh? You play sport? What kind of sports do you play at school fet? Mm, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you try to run while you're in that. Okay, very good. Okay, those potato bags, I think they're called. Yeah, okay. Uh, what other events take place at the uh, school fets? Mm -hmm. Any other events? Any other games? Yes? I like billiards. Mm -hmm. I like billiards. Okay, billiards. All right, okay. So you play that also at school fets? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, but you'll just like it, okay. Yes, so? Tennis. Tennis? Yes. You like it? Yes. I okay. Like it. All right. And uh, yes, Khalid? Basketball. 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 You play basketball? Okay, yes. Suleiman? I like football. Football. Very good. Okay, excellent. Now, let me ask you, is there uh, anything you don't understand uh, from this text? Any questions about this, this text? Is everything clear? You understand these texts? Yes. Oh, th this is a, uh, it's a French accent circumflex, it's called, okay? This is a French word, that's why. This is a, the word fête, the origin, it's not an English word, it's a French word, and the French have that symbol, right? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> Okay, then, since you're, everything is okay, let's look at the next activity here. Now, the next activity has to do with the months of the year. Do you know the months of the year? You know, which is the first month of the year? Which is the first month of the year? Huh? What do you think, Mohammed? September, you say. Do you agree? Is September the first month? What do you think? January. You think it's January. Hmm. What do you... Is it September or January? January. Okay, yes. The first month of the year is January. Okay. What about the second month? What are we now? Eh? What do you think is the second month? February, do you agree? Yeah? February, okay. Very good, it's February. Now, let's see. I'm going to give out, okay, the months here. I'm going to give you this. I want you to stand up, come here, and stand in order of the months. Okay? So, the first one is January, the second one is February. Let's see if you can work together and figure out the rest of the months. Some of you will get these, some of you will not, okay? So you have to stand up, put these. Okay, let's see. You have one, okay, you get this one. Okay, you get this one, uh, you get this one. You'll get this one. Okay, you'll get this one and you'll get this one. Okay, now. Those of you who have this, I want you to stand up and get in line according to your month. So stand up, stand up. Not all of you, only the ones with the, this card. And come here. So you have January. You're first. Come here. Stand over here. Hold January. Okay. Who's got f the next month? Next to him. Okay, so number the second month of the year is February. Now, which is the who's got the third month of the year? Who's got it? Whoever's got it has to come here. Who's got the third month of the year? Is it you? Okay, so I would come to the, come here next to him. <coughs> okay, maybe you can go front, move forward. Okay, move, stand behind him. Okay, behind him. Okay, first, second, third. Okay, the third month of the year. Okay, the next person. Come on, get in line. Get in line. Who's got the next one? Oh, okay, April. Let's see then. Next one. Come on, whoever's, whoever's got the next one. Wh go ahead, you don't have to wait. Okay, that's... Who's next? Who's next after that month? May. Okay, here's June. Okay, you can come over here. Okay, no, go in the back there. Okay, the next month. Who's got the next month? Okay. Yes, in the front. Okay. The next one. Who's got the next one? Who's next? Okay, come to the front. Come over here. 
Who's next? Who's got the next month? Hmm? Is it you? You think so? Maybe it's somebody else. What comes after August? September. September. Who's got September? Hey, Ahmed, get in line. <laughs> what comes after September? October. Are you sure? No, it's October. Come on. <laughs> it's October. Who's got the next one? November? And the last month? December. Okay. Now, let's all of us repeat the months, okay? You will start, okay, saying the months, all right? Say your month, and we go like this. Okay, go ahead, guys. The months. Say the months. Read the months. Hold it. Hold your months so that Case can see it. Go ahead, read them. The first one. Okay, Khalid. What are the months? The first month. The next one, read them. July. Okay, very good. Okay, you can sit down. You can sit down. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, I want you to write the numbers of the months, okay? So January is one, write the, the rest. You have one minute to do it. Do it now on your own. Do the rest, and then we're going to listen and correct. January is the first month, the second month. So you're finished. Okay. Have you finished? Have you finished? Yes? Okay. Listen and check your answers now. Two. Vocabulary. Put the months in order. Write one to twelve. Then listen and check your answers. One. January. Two. February. Three, March. Four, April. Five, May. Six, June. Seven, July. Eight, August. Nine, September. Ten, October. Eleven, November, okay. 12, December. Okay. All right, now, I am going to write a month over here. And I'm going to ask you to come to the front, okay, and write or tell me, you won't have to tell me, the month that comes before and the month that comes after, okay? So, for example, if I say uh, June, which month comes before, which month comes after June? Okay, 
Mahmoud. Which month comes before and which month comes after June? Okay, very good. What if I say um, April? Which month comes before April and which month comes after? Which month comes before? Before March. And after? After. After April? It's? Which one? It's May. It's May. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about October? October. Which month comes uh, before and which month comes after? Before September. Okay. And after? September. November. Very good. Okay. What about uh, February? February. Which month comes before February, Suleiman? Which month comes before February? Yes, that's the one. What is it? January. January, very good. And which month comes after February? Ahmed? March. March, very good. Okay, um, one more, August. Which month comes before August, uh, Mazen? Before August. Yes. Which month? Uh, November. No, not November. Before August? Before uh, September. Mm, before, that's after. Before it's? What do you think, Mohammed? July. July, right. And after it's September. Okay, very good. All right. And, uh, okay, let's see. December. December. What comes before December? Before December. Khalid? Huh? Before December. And after? Which one comes after December? It's the last month of the year, right? Okay. So after that we have the first month, which is January. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> now, here we have a little speaking activity. We say, what's the date today or tomorrow? And we say it's the 16th of March, okay? When is uh, Eid al-Fitr this year? It's in September, it's on the 16th of September. Okay, now you see here, with months, we say, we use in. When we wanna say in September, in January in February okay but we say on okay when we put the date okay the 14th the 15th okay for example um, uh, let's see what month were you born in what month were you born in so you say I was born in in October say it repeat I was born in October in October, okay. Uh, on what day? Okay, now you have to say on. Okay, on the 25th of October, okay? So, what month were you born in? In what month? In January. In January, okay. On what day? Okay, on the 21st, 21? Okay, so, on, now, notice, okay, like here, for example, we say it's on 16, the 16th of September. We write 16th of September like this, but we don't say 16th September, we say on the 16th of September. Okay, look what it says here. We write 26 May. Okay, so we can write, for example, 26 May, or we can write 26th May. But if we want to say it, we will not say 26th May. We will say on the 26th of May. Okay. All right, 
what month uh, were you born in? What month? In which month? What month were you born in? In which month? Okay. You don't remember? Okay. What about you, Rakan? What month were you born in? In February. In February. Repeat. I was born in February. Okay, in February. What month were you born in? What month were you born in? Yes? Okay, you're born on the 25th of September. Okay, who can tell me, what is the date today? What is the date today? What is the date today? Today is what? What is it, Amjad? Uh, it's uh, Tuesday. Tuesday what? what? That's the day. What about the date? We are? So, how are we going to say this? Today is Tuesday? 19th February. Okay, the 19th of February. Okay. Um, when is Ramadan this year? Do you know? Does anybody know? When is Ramadan this year? Huh? Does anybody know? When does it begin? In the 6th, you think? I think it's in July this year, right? No? It's in July? So I think this year it's... Okay. On the... Okay, this is... What day is this? What's the date here? Do you know this? This is... July? How will we say this? How do we say this? It's... On July 9th, okay, exactly. Now, you see with numbers, we put the TH, the, we say for example, let me erase it here. We say for the first, second, the third, and then the rest are... Okay, and it continues. So, we say the 1st January, the 2nd of, let's say, the 3rd March, 4th of April. Okay, now who can read the, this date? Who can read this date? It's what? Hmm? Of, of January, the first of January, okay? What about the, the next date? Who can read it? Remember, you have to put uh, the, okay, yes. It is uh, the 2nd of February. Right, it is the 2nd of February. What's the date here? It is, it is? 3rd of uh, March. Very good, the 3rd of March, okay? What about... Uh, over here now, let's say I put here. It is the? Uh, of the of, uh, April. Right, the 24th of April. I put a, <laughs> the 24th. Okay, what about here? What is the date here? It is what? What is the date there? It is? It is 5, uh, five uh, huh? of, uh, uh, May. of May. It is the 15th. Of May, eh? Okay, uh, what about uh, here? It is the... It, it is what? What is the date here? Khaled? 26th. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you forgot something? It is the... Of. Right, very good. So repeat it again. Very good, excellent. Okay, okay, very good. Now, how much time do we have? Okay, we're just moving on a little. Do you understand the, the dates? Okay, remember, for the first three, 
numbers, we say first, second, third. And after that, it's fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay? Very good. Okay, now let's look at this last section for today. Okay? We have here some grammar. Okay, look at this table over here. We have, who can read this for me? Who wants to read this? Huh? Okay, Ahmed, read what it says. Okay, now, what do you notice? What do we put after the verb like, love, enjoy, hate? What do we put afterwards? Do we say, I like shop? shop. What do we say? I like shopping. shopping. Okay. Uh, do we say, uh, I love play football? Is it correct? Play. Play. Playing football. Okay, so... Whenever we have verbs that express likes or, or dislikes, okay, we put, what do we put afterwards? ING, okay? For example, you say, I enjoy swimming, okay? Verb plus the ING, okay? Can you find some examples of these verbs and ING? in the text? Can you find some examples in the text? Find some examples in the text. You found one? Okay. Where? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Where did you find it? Oh, very good. Yes, right here. Eh? In the second uh, email, it says, I don't really enjoy playing sports. Okay, another example from the text. Can you find another example? You found one? Which one? Can you find an example in the text? Who can find another example in the text? You found one, Saud? Mm -hmm. Brain. Okay. What does it say? Brain. Well, Brain. no, that's not. I want you to find an example of these verbs like, love, enjoy, hate, plus ing. Not just ing. <laughs> okay, Mahmoud? Uh, I love cup kitchens and homemade food. Okay, all right. Where is that exactly? Show me. I love cup kitchens. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, now let's do a little activity here. Give me love and hate. Here we have hate. And here we have love, okay? Okay, I'm going to give you an expression, okay, like this. You're going to read it, and if you like it, if you love it, you get up and you put it over here, if you love it. If you hate it, you put it over here. Do you understand what love and hate means? Okay. So, read the expression, okay, and then you're going to go stick it according to what is true for you. And first you have to tell me using the correct form. Okay. All right. The first one, read it. What do you have? Show us. I love going to football matches. You love going to football matches, so put it to love. Okay. Very good. What is yours? Tell me. Okay, so read books you have. What is it? Do you love or do you hate? Huh? 
Okay, so read the expression. I hate all together. Okay, put it over there. The next one. Okay, do homework. Do you love doing homework or do you hate doing homework? <laughs> okay, repeat the phrase first. I? I love homework. Not do. I love. I love doing. Right, doing. So repeat again. I love doing homework. Right, very good. Okay, the next one. Okay. Very good. I love doing housework. The next one. Okay, put it to hate. Okay, the next one. Okay, put it to football. Playing to love. Okay, put it over here. You can put it over here. You can put it here. The next one. Put it over here. Okay, put it over here. I love surf. I love? Surf. Not surf. I love? Ing. I love? Surfing, right, surfing. Remember, whenever we have the verbs like, love, enjoy, hate, um, you know, these verbs we put ing afterwards. Okay, I love surfing the internet. Okay. I, love, I hate eating chocolate. Okay, if you hate eating chocolate, put it over there. I hate eating chocolate. I love hanging out with friends. Okay, I love hanging out with my friends. You can put it over here. The next one. I, ha I hate. I hate? Mm-hmm. Traveling. I hate traveling, so put it to hate. Okay. The next one. You have cook. I love cooking. Put it to love. You have the next one. Very good. Put it over there. Put it to love. And the last one. You love going swimming. Put it over there. Okay. And uh, my last one is uh, go to mall. Uh, I, I love going to the mall, okay? I love going to the mall, okay? So you put it like that. Do you understand how we use these? Also, just remember that with like, love, enjoy, hate, we can also use a noun. You can say, I love ice cream. We don't say ice creaming. <laughs> it's not a verb. Eh? I love chocolate. Or, I hate, um, you know, uh, let's see, what do I hate? Eh? But that's a verb, or you, that's a verb. I hate playing basketball, right, okay. Uh, so, any questions about the, the grammar here? No? All right. Um, no? Continue? Okay, all right. Let's go on then to the next part. Let me see. Because we're out of time, that's why. Okay, now, okay, now look at this next activity over here. It says, look at the prompts and make sentences. So open your books now, look at this exercise. And I want you to complete, well, let's just say, uh, to make sentences, to form sentences using these prompts. Let's do the first one together. Jack love listen to radio. We have to expand this so that it can become correct uh, sentence. What are we going to say? Amjad. Jack love listening to the radio. Very good. To the radio. Okay? So, Jack loves listening to the radio. Okay? Now, what about the next one over here. 
the children enjoy make biscuits. What is going to be the answer here? What do you think? Rakan. Very good. The children enjoy making biscuits. Okay. Don't forget, in a cent in English, you need to put a capital T, eh? Capital, not a small T, capital T, uppercase, not lowercase. And don't forget the full stop, eh? At the end, full stop. Okay, number three. My brother hate do homework. Okay, what is the answer here? Okay, Kais? My brother uh, had to make homework. Okay, very good. My brother, what is it? Can you repeat? My brother, uh, hey. Are you sure? Hey. Had to make okay, okay, the doing is correct, but brother is third person. What do we do to verbs in the third person? I hate you, hate he, she, it. What happens to verbs in the third person? What do we, what's missing? Hate. Hate. Hates. Hates, right. It's the third person, eh? My brother hates. Yeah, my brother hates doing homework or his homework, okay? Because why do we have to say hates? Because it's third person, eh? Don't forget that. Okay. What about the next one? I not like play tennis. I not like play tennis. Who wants to try it? Mohammed. Uh, I, do, I don't. I don't play tennis. I don't. Repeat. I don't play tennis. I don't like. I don't, I don't like uh, playing tennis. Very good. I don't like playing tennis. Okay. I don't like playing. Tennis. And the last one. Stacy enjoy go shopping. Stacy is third person, eh? Don't forget something here. What's the answer going to be here now? Okay, Ahmed? Stacy enjoy enjoys going shopping. Very good. Stacy enjoys going shopping very good okay so is this difficult or easy for you easy, easy. easy? Yes. all right that's good it's easy because you understand it okay it, if you you know study and learn it it's easy everything is easy in english okay very good do you need some time to copy this are you finished writing it yes yes okay Now, here we have a speaking activity. All right, now in this uh, speaking activity, we are going to talk about school fads and so on. All right, so I will do this speaking activity with someone from here, and then I want you to do this, you will do this uh, speaking activity in pairs with your classmates, okay? So, I will ask the questions to someone, and then that person will ask me the questions, okay? So let me ask you, Mahmoud, do you like school fets? Yes, I do. I like it. Okay. What activities uh, usually take place at school fets in your country? Okay. So there's food and there's also sports. And what do you enjoy doing at school fets? Nothing, watching. just watching and having a good time. Okay, very good. Now ask me the questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same ones. Do you like the school fets? Yes, I love school fets. Uh, what activities uh, usually take place at school fets? Well, in my country, in Greece, uh, students usually bring homemade food. You know, their mothers or even themselves will make biscuits and pies, chocolate cake. They bring them to the school fed, okay, and this is what, and also different kinds of uh, sporting activities take place, okay. Uh, what do you enjoy doing? 
Well, uh, like you, I enjoy uh, walking around, uh, talking to people at the school fed, okay, looking at people, uh, watching people play sports, and sometimes I enjoy playing sports myself, okay, playing football, okay? So, now, what I want you to do, I want you to work together, so ask each other these questions, okay? You ask first, and then you reply, and then you ask the questions, okay? So, do it in pairs. Do it in pairs, the two of you, the two of you, the two of you, these two, and three of you together. Three of you work together, okay? So go ahead. I'm going to be listening to you, okay? You don't, there's no writing here. There's no writing. You don't need to write anything. This is speaking, so no writing. Just ask each other the questions. Go ahead. No writing, just speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Ask each other the questions. Do you like uh, school feet? Mm -hmm. What activities you usually take, take at school with in your country? Mm -hmm. uh, I play tennis. Okay. What do you enjoy doing? Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy doing? Mm -hmm. You enjoy playing football. Okay, so now you and you ask questions. Now you ask questions. That's mm -hmm. Do you like school fans? Mm -hmm. Okay, talk together, talk together, ask each other. Mm -hmm. So, what activities take place? Yeah, sports or football. Okay, very good. Come on, guys. So, can I have uh, two volunteers to do this speaking activity? Who wants to do this speaking activity? Okay, Khalid and who else? And Ahmed, okay. Ask each other these questions. Do you like playing sports? Hmm? What do you like doing? Playing football. Playing football. Okay, now ask Ahmed. Do you like sports? Yes, I like it. What activities do you usually take place at school fields in your country? With my friends, I eat with my friends, uh, play football, play tennis, basketball. What do you enjoy and what do you enjoy doing? I enjoy doing with my friends. Okay, enjoy eating with my friends. Very good. Okay, very good. Two more volunteers. Two more. Okay, Mohammed and who else? And Ahmed. <laughs> Ask each other. Okay. Do you like school fits? Yes, I do. 
big, big uh, school bits in your country? What do you enjoy doing? Okay, all right, okay. Now, for homework, okay, you will have to do the next exercise. Exercise B is going to be for homework, okay? Now, what do you have to do? You have to make an invitation to a school fed, okay? You see, this is over here an invitation, okay? So you have to write an invitation to a school fete, okay? And you can use these ideas, like for example, the date. When is the school fete going to take place? You can make up your own, okay? You have to include the date. The time. What time is the school fete going to take place? Huh? Okay, no, this is something that you have to write, okay? You are gonna write your own school fete invitation. Okay? And you have to include these ideas, the activities, what to bring, okay, um, where it's taking place. Okay, so you have to prepare something like this. Something like this. You have to write an invitation to a school fete. For example, come to our school fete. It, take, it takes place at you know, the name of your school, Rosemount High or whatever, you know, you, the name of the school. It takes place on uh, the 25th of uh, May. Okay, you write that. And you write the activities. There's going to be lots of uh, sports. There's going to be food. Okay, you have to write an invitation to a school fete. Okay. So now, this uh, brings our lesson to an end. I hope that you have uh, enjoyed the, this lesson. I certainly enjoyed it a lot, okay? You're all very good students, okay? But if you study, all right, harder, you're gonna become great students, all right? So keep studying, okay? Keep, uh, you know, doing your homework. Read as much as possible in English. Listen to your teachers, okay? Listen to the CDs that you have when you go home. All right, so try to, you know, again, expose yourself, surround yourself with as much English as possible, okay? So thank you very much, and I hope to see you again uh, in another lesson, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Before you go, I have a little uh, gift for you. <laughs> I have some chocolate to give you because you are such good students, okay? So this is some chocolate for all of you, okay? This is uh, from, from Greece. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. So, as I said, thank you and I hope to see you again. In the, near, in the near future, okay? Take care, all right. <laughs>